Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Arizona Pain Network. Today the topic is the basics of superior hypogastric plexus blocks. Well, what is a uh, superior hypogastric block? It's an outpatient injection that can provide excellent pain relief for lots of types of pelvic pain. For those who have pelvic pain, opiate medications may not work very well, or you may have to take them in such a high amount that it causes complications such as addiction, tolerance, significant constipation. This procedure can lessen the need for opiate medications dramatically. So the superior hypogastric plexus is a bundle of nerves situated in the area in front of where the aorta splits, and that's seen here into the iliac vessels, um, and then right in front of the sacrum basically you have this plexus of nerves providing sensation to all kinds of uh, organs in the pelvis, rectum, bladder, uh, men, prostate, and women, uterus, uh, then the ureter, um, urethra, so penis, testes. Who does well with superior hypogastric block? Well, as I just mentioned, anybody who has pain originating from those organs that have sensation from the uh, plexus, bladder, urethra, uterus, vagina, vulva, perineum, prostate, penis, testes, rectum, descending colon. This may be uh, cancer of the rectum. Um, it could be an infection of the testes or, or cancer there. Um, it also can provide relief for endometriosis, those with scar tissue in the pelvis from previous surgery, radiation injury, inflammatory bowel, and even interstitial cystitis. So how is the injection performed? Pain doctors will use image guidance that's called fluoroscopy, which is a real-time form of x-ray. The patients are placed on their belly, prone, on a table that's well padded and, and x-rays can go through it. Typically sedation is used because of the length of the needles um, and there's two of them going down uh, to the area where the superior hypogastric plexus is. Once the pain doctor is happy with placement, and they do use numbing medicine all through these areas in addition to sedation, then some dye is injected to make sure placement is accurate. And after that, that's when the numbing medicine and possibly some steroid is injected. And maybe phenol, which is a um, type of alcohol that can provide longer term uh, pain relief. Radiofrequency ablation, which is where some slight current is uh, placed, is starting to be used for these injections as well. It, the overall takes about 30-40 minutes. Are there risks? There are some slight risks, just like any other pain procedure, which may be infection, bleeding, uh, nerve injury, anesthesia complication. All in all, it's much less than 1%. There may be some slight risks of cortisone. You can have transient increases in blood sugar. Uh, it could be a potential large vessel puncture. Uh, this may or may not become an issue, but that is, you know, you're in the vicinity of the aorta and the iliac vessels. Overall, it's a very low risk profile. And what are the outcomes? Well, uh, thankfully, 7 out of 10, 70 percent received tremendous benefit. And when you look at the breadth of procedures, of uh, conditions it's used for, you know, with, with cancers and endometriosis or whatnot, that's a great number. The studies show usually a 50 percent reduction in pain or more and a 40 percent reduction in the need for opiate medications. So it can help tremendously with decreasing those uh, needs. And the injection can be repeated every few months as necessary. The top pain management clinics in Arizona is Arizona Pain Specialist. They are a one-stop shop with board-certified pain doctors doing medications and interventional procedures, chiropractors, acupuncture, spinal decompression therapy, PT, um, and more. They have seven locations in the valley currently, accepting over 50 insurance plans. All the pain docs are board certified and they've received the Patient's Choice Award five years in a row. For scheduling, simply call 602-507-6550 or visit us on the web at preferredpaincenter.com. I'm Dr. David Green with the Arizona Pain Network. Your pain stops here.